My dear Delilah, I have stalked through Skeletron's underground temple dungeon lair in a way not dissimilar to that of the sinister squirrel as it stalks its way through a tree in search of nuts. However, my dear Delilah, unlike the squirrel, aka nature's greatest predator, nuts are not my prey. As you well know, my dear Delilah, nuts do not interest me. Proverbial nuts, on the other hand, are in fact right up my alley. All that I care for is you. You are, in a sense, the nuts to my squirrel. Further, my dear Delilah, just as the devilishly devious squirrel is well aware that without nuts it will not survive the winter, I too have an understanding that without your presence, my existence will likely boil to naught. Since I first breached Skeletron's underground temple dungeon lair and encountered the first two short-lived prisoners, I have held high hopes that this is indeed the place in which you have been hidden. Although with every room I clear and every hallway and corridor I walk down, I can't shake this horrid feeling that I'm not in fact drawing closer to you, but instead slowly proving a hideous truth. As I slay skeletal beastie after skeletal beastie and unlock golden chest after golden chest and indeed discover fabulous treasure after fabulous treasure and I tell you my dear Delilah, some of this treasure is indeed fabulous. I mean, not to digress too far, but look at this fabulous shield, Captain America himself doesn't have a shield this fabulous, and doesn't it go so terrifically with my badass rhinoceros helmet and awesome sword? Although rather regrettably, the sword appears to be no longer summoning butterflies, but returning back to the point I was attempting to eloquently illustrate, my dear Delilah, is that with each room I clear, and with each treasure I discover, and each beastie I slay, I seem to have yet to discover you. You, mighty Delilah, for whom which I have braved this strange land, slayed the giant eyeball, killed Skeletron himself, and even attempted to destroy the ocean. As I begin to run out of rooms to clear, it begins to dawn on me, my dear Delilah, that if you are in fact not in Skeletron's underground temple dungeon lair, I have in fact slayed Skeletron and many of his underlings, and taken over his house and stolen all of his treasures for really very little reason. I mean, granted, he did look rather demonic, but as the company slogan goes that ran your illustration business into the ground, my dear Delilah, you should never judge a book by its cover. And indeed, I believe from that saying, it's a logical extrapolation that you're also probably not supposed to, having judged a book by its cover, viciously slaughter it, and then fill its home with sand, viciously kill all of its underlings, and steal all of its gold. But on the other hand, he did in fact have two hostages, and at the very least, has a pretty bad aesthetic. So, while I'm slowly coming to terms with the fact that I'm begrudgingly going to have to admit that Skeletron may in fact not have been responsible for your disappearance and mine being stranded in this bizarre land, he at least still certainly deserved to die. And so, as I clear the last room of Skeletron's underground temple dungeon lair and begin establishing it as my own, I must unfortunately admit that not unlike a squirrel having mistakenly climbed a palm tree, regardless of how thoroughly I search these branches, it's not likely I'll find my nuts. Regardless, my dear Delilah, do not give in to despair. Skeletron's underground temple dungeon lair was an obstacle that held my attention for far too long, and though it proved to be a full solution, I can now cross it off the list and continue my search. Proverbial winter is not yet here, my dear Delilah, and I am far from done searching for proverbial nuts. And so always continue to keep hope and love alive in your heart, for you shall always remain my dear Delilah.